imagine that you have iTunes and you have all your music on iTunes already arranged. You have some AirPlay devices like Apple TV or some stereo receiver with AirPlay integrated. Suppose you have a party and you want to transmit music to all the rooms. You want to broadcast or stream this music to every room. Usually what we do is that we have some Bluetooth speakers. You connect to that speaker and you send the audio to that from your telephone. Uh, let's put this as example. I'm going to connect to this um, Bose SoundTouch 300. Uh, let me connect to it. I changed the name of the device, but it is connected. Connect. Okay, now you will see it in here as an option to, for the output of your computer. Here we go. Okay, I select this output and let's hear it. Let's go to the other room. Of course, Bluetooth has a range like, I believe it's 10 meters or 30 meters, I'm not sure. But here is the computer playing into another room via Bluetooth. That was easy. This is a ni nice SunTouch bar. The It, it came with a subwoofer, wireless subwoofer that you can put anywhere in the room. Of course, I put it uh, here because I didn't have an AC outlet close to other places in the room. But but without the subwoofer, this sound bar sounds uh, terrific. I highly recommend you this. It is the Bose SunTouch 300. It also came with a pair of satellite speakers, but It is optional too. Well, let's go to the computer again. So now, there you have it. You are sending audio via Bluetooth, but that is not enough because you want it in different rooms because I don't think your house is only one room. So if I click here, I can send the audio to the device that it's directly connected to my computer. Let me disconnect the sound touch bar. Now it is playing through this then on amplifier. Let me select the computer. Computer is connected to a Denon device via HDMI cable. That way I can use the whole 7.1 channels. And here you have it. I select Denon. And here is the amplifier. Here is the computer playing directly through HDMI. It is physically connected to the computer. It's not via Bluetooth to the other speaker, but the, every computer can do that. I want to transmit to you three simultaneous rooms at the same time. So I select this Onkyo that it is AirPlay enabled and also the Apple TV on the living room. Let's go hear it. Again, this is Wi-Fi. This is Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Let's say Ethernet because sometimes I use Wi-Fi, sometimes I use Ethernet. But from the computer, it's playing on the Denon device on the room. It is also playing into this Onkyo device via Wi-Fi, thanks to AirPlay. We can hear it here. And let me pop up the volume. Pop up the volume. There was a sound call it like that. Well, you are hearing it through these Bose speakers. It's the 301 series, I believe. And also there's a couple of satellite speakers on it. But there you have it. You have it on the room. You have it on the patio via AirPlay. This is the cable for the Ethernet. Of course, you can use wireless. Here, these antennas are for the wireless, but I don't like to use wireless. Whenever I can, I use the cable because uh, I don't trust radiation. And also, we are transmitting at the same time to this Apple device. This is an Apple TV. I believe it's the third generation. We can control the volume also here. So we have three rooms, uh, the main room with the computer, the living room and the patio. Uh, I don't know if you can do that with Bluetooth, that you can use one phone or tablet or computer and transmit to three different places, three different devices at the same time. But there you have it. The only thing you have to do is to go to 
preference on iTunes and select sharing, then select your entire library. That way you are going to share pictures, music and all that stuff. Also, you can say, hey, I, I can control the music from my phone. Well, you can do that also with AirPlay. If you have your iPhone, you just download the Apple remote, type Apple remote, and that's not the one. Let me scroll down. This is the one, iTunes remote. That way you can control iTunes. You are not controlling your library in your phone. This is to remotely control iTunes. You open the application, you select your iTunes library, and there you have it. Right now, iTunes is playing this song. Let me change. I'm going to go to the playlist I have on iTunes. I'm going to select this royalty-free music from YouTube. And now we are playing into the computer through the then on device. So the sound is coming from the computer in the room. But I want to transmit also to more than one place at the same time. So let's click here in back and select multiple. And then you select the other rooms that you want to send the music to. Of course, you can select just one, two or three. You don't have to, to select the three of them at the same time. You can control the volume in each room individually. Suppose you want a lower volume in the living room and you want to pop up the volume in the patio, you can select each one of them individually. Also, you have the master control where you can lower the volume in all the three rooms at the same time. You can select all their libraries, other kind of music. People, maybe you're walking with your phone through, the, through your party and somebody asks you a different song or and you can just select it from here. I think it's even better than having a Bluetooth speaker because this way you can transmit to several places at the same time. And also, uh, almost any device with, with iTunes remote that is sharing the same iCloud account can control the music, not just one phone. Or you can control it from the computer. Also, this Onkyo device has this nice feature that since it is on the network, you can control it via an app and you can select the source. You can select the volume, the equalization, and all the stuff. Here you have the net source, and in that net source you have AirPlay, USB, Chromecast. I don't know why USB is considered net, but that's the way they have it. AirPlay, this is what the receiver is receiving right now through AirPlay. Chromecast, I don't have Android phone, but I guess it's going to be as easy as this. You can turn on and off the, the receiver. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate uh, all the people that are commenting, liking, not liking my videos. I appreciate your support. I do this video because I want to, uh, to contribute to the community. In fact, you don't receive much money from YouTube. So this is more like helping others, showing them what you have fun. Thank you very much for watching my videos and stay tuned. Thank you.